Florida woman is one of the first patients at Emory University Hospital to receive a new drug designed to slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease. It's called Lakembi, and it comes with both promise and risks. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here to talk about all of that, Beth. And Christine, you really can't talk about enough the buzz that is surrounding Lakembi because this is really, as you said, the first time we've had an FDA-approved medication that may be able to slow down the progression of the disease in some patients. And it's given Carolyn Davis something that she desperately needed, hope. Carolyn Davis's story of how she ended up in this Emory video, one of the first patients at Emory University Hospital in Atlanta to receive an infusion of the recently FDA-approved Alzheimer's drug, Lakembi, begins last summer back home in Pensacola, Florida, with a pretty brutal diagnosis from a local neurologist Davis went to see after experiencing some memory problems. The brain scan or whatever they did at West Florida Hospital, they gave that to the doctor and he told me to get your affairs in order. The active 74-year-old was told she has Alzheimer's disease and there is nothing that can be done to help her. Devastated, she called her friend, Linda Davidson, the executive director of the Alzheimer's Association's Georgia chapter. We've been friends for 30 years and she said, no, we're going to get a second opinion. And that's how Davis found neurologist Dr. Alan Levy, director of the Goizueta Alzheimer's Disease Research Center at Emory. She has some memory problems and, you know, we confirm that. Um, so I, I look at her as a great example of somebody who's in the very early stage stages of Alzheimer's disease. Well, you realize, boy, she's a bright woman full of life and fully capable of so many things. Davis underwent testing to confirm she has a buildup of amyloid beta protein plaque in her brain that Lakembi is designed to target. She also had genetic testing to make sure she does not carry an Alzheimer's gene that could raise her risk of severe side effects like bleeding in the brain. And when Dr. Levy told Davis she was a candidate for Lakembi, she says she broke down and cried with relief. Then after that, I said, okay, you know, time to get going. I mean, there, there is hope, there's something I can do, and there's going to be a protocol, and I'm going to do it, and that's when I started. Now, every two weeks, Davis drives from Pensacola to Atlanta for an hour-long Lakembi infusion. In a clinical study, this medication slowed cognitive decline in early-stage Alzheimer's patients by nearly 30 percent. There's never been a medicine ever that's been able to slow down the disease at all, and so this has been a huge breakthrough, but it's, it's far from perfect. Again, this drug is one, not for everybody. Two, it carries considerable risks. Three, it's expensive. The treatment, which is now covered by Medicare, is about $26,500 a year, with most patients paying a 20% copay or about $5,300 a year. Lakembi can cause infusion related reactions and more rarely swelling and bleeding in the brain. So patients have to be closely monitored with brain scans. But Dr. Levy says by slowing down memory loss in patients like Davis, you may keep them at home independent longer. They may be able to drive. Uh, they may be able to do the things they want. And that could mean one, two, three extra years before they really need more help. And Carolyn Davis says she feels confident about this treatment and about her future. I have hope again after being told that there was nothing, get my affairs in order. But getting access to this treatment is not easy right now. It has to be given in a hospital or an infusion center setting, and patients have to be really carefully screened and monitored. And again, it's designed for people who have early stage Alzheimer's disease, but are having some symptoms like memory loss. And you have to meet certain criteria in order to qualify for this treatment. So if you have questions, we're gonna have a number for the Alzheimer's Association's 24 seven helpline. And you can find that with this story on our website fox5atlanta.com. Christine? And I imagine this is something that a patient should be discussing with their doctor if this is the right fit for them to take part Absolutely, in with your neurologist. And I think the Alzheimer's Association also has a lot of information for families and caregivers about uh, Lakembi and, and, and who might be a good fit for this. But again, it's a really tapered group. You know, those early stage patients mm. who have some symptoms and don't have these other risk factors can't be used for people who are on blood thinners and certain medications uh, too. Very specific yes. who they can take. Yes. All right. Uh, Beth, thanks so much.